Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a video on fact or myth on redheads and whether or not I think it applies to me or not. Uh, so the first one we have is redheads can change temperature quickly. Uh, I do think this is true. I do get cold very easily, um, especially um, in like places like the airport, or the malls, or the movie theaters, which I think most people do. But like, I have to wear like a full-on sweater, um, and then I get goosebumps as well too. Um, also, like even in the winter time when you have all these layers on, like I get like really warm at some points, and like I feel like I'm gonna faint. Um, but like I can't take all those layers off, or I'm gonna get sick. So I do think that one is true. Let me know if you're also a redhead and you also have the same issue. Uh, so redheads can produce their own vitamin D. Um, I don't think this is true um, just because I did find out recently do have low vitamin D. Um, and I was outside all summer working, so I was getting a lot of sun. So I thought that was kind of strange. So I definitely don't think I am producing any kind of vitamin D on my own. <laughs> so. Um, I do think that is a myth for that one. Uh, redheads have a fiery temper. So this one's like a very common one. I hear about it a lot. A lot of people do ask me if that's true. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't think so. I think everyone gets, depending on what you look like, uh, you can get just as angry. Um, they. I think it's just like a stereotype they came up with because oh, I red hair. You must have a fiery temper. But no, nope, just like everybody else. I mean, I get angry just like anybody else. Um, pain tolerance. So apparently redheads have like a low pain tolerance so like they feel things like more harsh than like other people would I guess. Um, so like with needles like I do agree like I'm a big baby when it comes to needles like I cringe once I feel it on my skin like I just I can't deal with it. I remember when I was like a little kid like I don't know, like six, seven years old, like the nurses would have to hold me down because like I, I could not deal with it. Like I hated needles and I just, I couldn't deal with pain. Um, and I have gotten like much better over the years, obviously like I'm, even with like emotional stuff, like dealing with stress, like I don't really have any issues handling that. Like I've even just generally become a better, like more positive person as well. So. Um, I mean, I'm not really like going like fact or myth with that one. It's kind of in the middle with that one. Um, cause I think there's like kind of truth and no true in fact with that one as well. Uh, so redheads can bruise more easily. That I do believe though. Um, because I do wake up randomly and there's bruises all over my legs and I have no idea how they get there because my bed is not against a wall, just like the top. So like, what am I hitting my legs on? So it's very strange. Like it won't, won't be there before, but then the, the morning of it'll be there. So I don't know. I mean, I used to believe um, that maybe a demon was <laughs> torturing me at night and that's why it bruises all over me. Cause the one time I woke up and it was like on my upper leg and I had a bruise like this big and it was like dark and like really scary looking. And I'm like, okay, there's definitely someone like beating me up while I'm sleeping. Uh, I mean, I do believe in the paranormal, but like, I don't know, but I definitely, I don't know what the scientific reason is to, for it. Um, let me know if you also have that issue. Um, but yeah, those are like the most common ones I do come across. Um, and people do come up to me and ask me, um, some like really old ones, which I don't really believe in, but, um, apparently, um, redheads were witches back in the day. So the during the Salem witch trials, like if you had red hair, you were apparently a witch. You were like the uh, mistress of the devil because you had fiery red hair, just like from fire from hell, right? So I don't know. That's that's very silly. Um, it's interesting to read about. Um, I'm definitely not a witch. Um, another one that I read the other day, I thought that was pretty funny, is apparently when redheads die, we turn into vampires. So, I mean, I wouldn't be against that. That's pretty cool. But I mean, if I was going to become a vampire, I'd want to become a vampire when I was young. So I mean, you look young for the rest of your life, right? Um, wow, that was pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if I, I don't really no, I think I believe in vampires. I do believe in like um, the paranormal stuff, as I said, like ghosts and like spirits and stuff like that. Um, and I, I am pretty like, not spiritual, like, but I do like, I do have stones and stuff in my room as well, so I do believe that it does help because I used to get sleep paralysis quite a bit and ever since I started putting um, black tourmaline in my room, which basically what it's doing, it's like 
um, blocking away negative energy. So I'm finding it actually helps quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll do another video on that because that's a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for checking out um, my video. Um, if there are any things that you have come across and you are wondering like if this is true or not about redheads, um, or if you are redhead and you're like, oh yeah, me too, um, just leave a comment below and let me know. And yeah, have a good day.